Mystery as another oligarch is found dead in Surrey. Police are called after Ukrainian born Tekun's body is discovered in Martian in unexpected tragedy. A Ukrainian born Tekun who made his fortune in oil and gas has been found dead at his Surrey mansion. Police are treating father of three Mikhail Watford's death as unexplained but it's not thought to be suspicious. The 66-year-old's body was discovered in the garage of his luxury property on the exclusive Wentworth Estate in Virginia, Water, Surrey, where homes fetch up to £20 million. No. News of Mr. Watford's death emerged on the day Boris Johnson told the Commons that he will publish a full list of people associated with Vladimir Putin's regime, a significant proportion of whom will face sanctions. This were called after the property magnate, who is not among those oligarchs already sanctioned, was found dead at midday on Monday. Yesterday, his Estonian wife, Jane41, posted a photo on social media showing her kissing her husband in the grounds of their mansion. It comes after the 2012 death of millionaire Russian businessman Alexander Prefilinchi, 44, who lived in the exclusive St. George's Hill area of Weybridge. A family friend said that Watford's estate of mind could have been routed over the war in Ukraine, launched by Russia last week. The timing of his death and evasion of Ukraine was surely not coincidental, the source told the newspaper. Another associate told that Watford's death raises questions after the suspicious death of Russian nationals. Saray police were accused of incompetence over their investigation. There were claims he was poisoned, perhaps with a plant toxin known as heartbreak grass, although a coroner concluded in 2018 that he died from natural causes. Saray police spokesman said we were called around midday on February 28th following reports of the discovery of a man's body. An ambulance was called but the man who was in his 60s was suddenly pronounced dead at the scene. An investigation into the circumstances of the death is underway but it's not believed there are any suspicious circumstances. So that's all I had about the man who died and may his soul rest in peace and may God strengthen his family. Goodbye.